Hey, fish heads, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates, and I am sitting at the finishing desk this morning, getting a bunch of stuff out. I've got a couple of scheduled videos for you guys this week. This is one of them. So you'll notice that there's a ton of stuff on the desk. I've been trying to get caught up again with orders. So there's a lot of cool stuff going out to a lot of cool fish heads. We're gonna start with the fat heads this morning. You guys have seen these for the last couple of years, just not in the fat head style, the lipless. It's a long ear. This is a pumpkin seed. A lot of shine to it. A lot of iridescence and color shifting paint on the forehead. You'll see that goes from a purple into a blue. That helps with reflectivity in the light and the water. This is that black chrome flashlight. And these are in various stages. I have split rings on some. I've got some that are boxed and these are all going out the door this morning because I've got a fishing trip planned for tomorrow, which hopefully I'll get some good footage from and we'll at least get you some reels or some shorts. Um, I try not to overdo it on fishing because the channel is primarily geared, even though it's a fishing channel, it's primarily geared towards builders and painters and stuff like that. And I know that's what you guys like the most of. So that'll happen. This is that glow red rat and a chrome. This is a really cool chrome, which uh, the, you can see the pink underneath shifting up into purple and the pink into the belly, into the white, into the chrome. There's a train that's about to pass by. You guys are gonna hear it. There's nothing I can do about it. Also up here, we've got a cool champagne ayu. We also have a hot tuna. Love these hot tunas. These are great for spotted bass, smallmouth, even uh, aggressive large brown trout will go after them. Uh, musky pike, whatever. Whatever swims, they like this flash. So this is a multi-fish targeting bait here. Good little wake bait. And then I've got, let's see, this is another black chrome flashlight. We've got some purple rat fading into that hot pink on the belly. Also some color shift going on there it just looks pretty sick on there i like it if you like if you like the color shift stuff drop me a comment let me know because it's uh it kind of disappears on you as well just moves various shades throughout how the light spectrum hits it got a chartreuse and white mouse you guys have been asking for these for a long time i did put them on the website um, finally have the opportunity to show you what these guys look like these are all custom orders. You can find them on www.jekyllbaits.com. Moving over to some of this stuff over here. Um, been playing around with a lot of rainbow trout patterns. This is one of my favorite to date. It's got almost a clear belly into that pink stripe. And then the purpose of the chrome on these guys is to make it look as realistic as possible because you'll see that flash. If you see a trout feeding, you're gonna see that flash of silver in the water. And that's what this is portraying. A Little bit of uh, color shift and flash on the back. And then just a little bit on the sides there. But this is probably one of my favorite trout that I've done to date. You guys can probably see that I've got a handheld for you guys today. Uh, all of my camera gear is at my house up in the mountains in Georgia. Um, so we're doing a handheld. Hopefully it won't be too shaky. I've had plenty of coffee today, but hopefully not too much. Mr. Brown. Standard brown rat, one of my favorites, one of your favorites also. You guys love the natural brown colors in the wakes. And the fat head with the same principle in that rainbow trout. Just a really, I just love these things. Um, again, one of my favorites that I've done and sprayed in a rainbow trout pattern to date. Also have a little bit of green gold color shift going on on the forehead on these things. So love these. I absolutely love them. And they swim well too. It's a good vertical rip type of a lipless. 
it will swim forward pretty well but its whole purpose in life is to rip and flutter from the bottom and rip and flutter up so if you have a situation where that can be practical to you to use and in just about any pond if you can pitch it out far enough and rip it up in short motions it's going to do the job for you also have it in this new thread fin which i also like a little bit darker on the face on this almost has that fox face that banded eye and then dropped it onto a Guggen Scout Jr. I got to tell you guys, I know the Guggens get this and that and the third. They get the first degree. They get all of it. But their baits swim pretty well. I like this little Scout Jr. Nice little shad pattern. See if I can get it close without blowing out the camera. And you can still see, I think you can still see on there sort of the depth there. It's three to six suspending very good little bait on the baby bull shad as well this is that shimmer shad pattern I've been playing around a lot with it and I think I've got it pretty much where I like it also on the contender junior super sexy got a lot of these going out you guys ordered the mess out of the shimmer shads when I ran a quick special um, very popular really good color and you guys loved them so happy to be able to get those out the door for you guys as well and also on the larger bull mullet which is also the catchco collab with bull shad these guys are guggen obviously the gs eyeball classic telltale and on the bull mullet so a few of these going out this morning as well as long as i can get them dressed before the mailman gets here now you got to remember with customs, this is not a machine painting this, so you're going to have a slight variation even though it's the same pattern. A lot of people get confused. They're like, this is not exactly what I ordered. It's the same color scheme, but I am a custom painter. So this is all hand sprayed with love to you guys. And then playing around with just a couple of chromes on these baby bull shads. This is just your standard black back chrome shad i put red eyes on one just to see what it would look like i think i like the silver better what do you guys think i think i do and then we've got just some baby bull shads i'll show that are going out the door again um i can't say enough good things about the way this turned out i absolutely love it and i think the fish are going to love these patterns too lots and lots of depth um super happy those little smelts and stockers. It's another pumpkin seed. The breeding crappie. And now I've got a few more of these upstairs. I've got some army greens going out. You guys have seen all those before, so I did not bring those down. Those are going to get dressed and out the door Wednesday morning. So that, folks, is all the news that's fit to print right now. And we will come back to you with the bigger stuff. I know you guys have seen the new rat. I'm going to spend a little bit of time with Mike talking about this new rat, what it can do, the functions, the weight. We're going to show you the swim test in the water, um, along with a few other new ones that we've got coming out from Bull Shad and Mike Buca and the crew out there. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in and spending some time on the channel. It means a lot to me. Smash that like. And uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions or thoughts on the stuff that I have showed you this morning. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.
fish and watching swimming videos. 